After a very busy year and a very, very busy pre-Christmas period, pretty much all of the big releases for this year have already come out. So while we're of course still enjoying those games that just released, we're also looking a bit ahead to the games that are releasing early next year. And one of those is of course Horizon Zero Dawn. And thanks to the schedule for the GDC conference, in San Francisco next year, we have a little sneak peek into some of the technology that Horizon Zero Dawn implements in that particular title. And I will include the session scheduler in the description below this video if you wish to give it a read. It's there for your perusal. But it gives us a peek into how Horizon Zero Dawn uses GPU-based procedural technology that dynamically creates the game's world around the player. Now this isn't just limited to generating, say, trees and rocks and other such sort of nature elements in the game, but also full environments, even including wildlife, gameplay elements, sounds and effects. Now we're going to be getting more information about this thanks to Guerrilla Games' senior tech programmer, who's going to be doing a programming session at GDC in San Francisco next year. And do forgive me because I'm probably about to butcher the pronunciation of this name. Yap Van Mulden is the one who's going to be taking us on a bit of a journey into the technology used for Horizon Zero Dawn. However, the description for his session also gives a bit of a sort of look into the technology they used to create this game, or some of the technology at least. And it reads, quote, Yap Van Mulden from Greta Games will describe the GPU-based procedural placement system that dynamically creates the world of Horizon Zero Dawn around the player. Not limited to just rocks and trees, the procedural system assembles fully-fledged environments or the player walks through them, complete with sounds, effects, wildlife and gameplay elements. It will show the entire pipeline from the graph editor where artists can define the procedural placement rules to the GPU algorithms that create a dense world around the player on the fly. It will demonstrate the power of this procedural approach by showing how painting in a tree line and redirecting roads can be just as easy as moving mountains and changing a desert into a tropical swamp. Now another detail that we can take away from the description on the GDC scheduler is that Guerrilla Games use compute shaders to actually achieve this technology. So while of course we can expect more information to come out of his session at GDC next year, it seems like what this technology is, is if you have the sort of predefined boundaries in the sort of handcrafted world as it were, and then this procedural generation is used to create a sort of more organic looking grass and tree structure, because you know it's not really an order to nature as it were. Yes, trees grow together to create forests, that sort of thing. But it might feel a bit more organic, a bit more natural if it's like created with a sort of algorithm in mind rather than, hey, I feel like placing some trees here kind of thing. Maybe it's going to be a mixture of handcrafted, I'm going to place this, create this area from scratch. You know, perhaps a quest area would probably be created, but obviously a sort of wider areas will make use of this procedural technology. Maybe it's going to be a mix of both. We just don't know. Obviously, we're going to find out not only at the session, but when the game actually comes out next year. And... Uh, Again, Horizon Zero Dawn is definitely one of my more anticipated games for next year, so I'm definitely looking forward to not only playing the game, but seeing what impact this game actually has. I mean, I hope it hasn't gone full procedural, to be honest, because, well, eh, I, I prefer a more directed approach when it comes to world design, to be honest. Making use of procedural generation is fine, but it's a tool to use alongside of the tools. It's not just, hey, you do all the work for me kind of thing. So, fingers crossed, but uh, regardless of all that, Again, the GDC session scheduler will be linked in the description below, but unfortunately we're going to have to wait until next year to find out the real details about the technology and how exactly it works. For now though, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.